cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger... Yeah, they should make a car that runs on piss. Absolutely. Yes, I'll do it. Pistla. <laughs> I would not trust them not to have that end up like just driving down the road, just spraying piss out of both sides. Like a fucking DDT truck in the 50s, just going down the sidewalk, just aerating. The community with with piss. <laughs> the Dave Matthews yeah. The Dave Matthews Bridge incident is one of the best things that has ever happened. <laughs> uh, ch does, does anyone here not know about the Dave Matthews Bridge incident? Am I gonna have to pull up the Wikipedia? I don't okay. All right, hang on. Wikipedia time. Let me put on some story time music. <laughs> uh, Wikipedia. Dave Matthews Chicago River Incident. On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds <laughs> Lord have mercy <laughs> <laughs> yeah 800 pounds okay. uh, uh. <clears throat> On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds. <laughs> Why was it so much? <clears throat> belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bucks, the buses. Blackwater tank. <clears throat> Can you smell that? <laughs> it smells good. On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's Blackwater tank <laughs> through the Kinsey Street Bridge in Chicago <laughs> onto. <clears throat> Onto the passenger sightseeing boat, Chicago's little <laughs> Chicago's little lady sailing in the Chicago River below. Plop just like a ball. <laughs> it was called Chicago's little lady. <laughs> I'm fucking crying. I really want to try to get through this. Okay. 
I want to try to get through this paragraph without laughing. <laughs> Aldi says they should start doing that at concerts. Yeah. Dave Matthews band on their guar shit. Okay, here we go. On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews saying David? No, I can't do that. On 2000... On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste. <laughs> Reset. Thank you, Panic. We're attempting to read this Wikipedia entry uh, without laughing. So I, I hope that this is also your speed as well. <sighs> Perpetual Panda, that didn't help because I, I did that and I started imagining hearing this on NPR and how, how much that would fuck me up. No, this music is not gonna help. What's uh, what's what's some good concentration music? Hello, oh Jesus, Earth Crisis again. actor. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Since you pay, you paid the bits, we're, we're gonna try it. We're gonna go NPR mode on this. What's NPR music? Doctor Pancakes, thank you very much. Hey, that is so. I, I genuinely love to hear that, Doctor Pancakes. I um. It makes me very happy when I make something that has a practical application like that. And um, I'm very happy with that video because I feel like that's a video that like will continue to get people into a hobby that they'll have a very nice time with. And maybe they'll even make friends through it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to try to read the Wikipedia entry for the Dave Matthews Band Chicago River Incident. On August 8, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's black water tank through the Kinsey... St I just remembered the name of the boat. I remembered the name of the boat. I remembered the name of the boat. <laughs> the boat... I need to say this out loud to inoculate myself. The boat is called... Chicago's Little Lady. The boat is called Chicago's Little Lady. I need to repeat that until it's not funny. The boat is called Chicago's Little Lady. Yeah, the boat, it was called Chicago's Little Lady. The boat was called Chicago's Little Lady. <laughs> it's, like the scene, it's like the scene in Fight Club. His name was Glenn. Or whatever. <laughs> uh... On August 4th, fuck, on August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's black water tank through the Kinsey Street Bridge in Chicago onto the passenger sightseeing boat Chicago's Little Lady.
On August 8, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds. We can do this. On August 8, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds. How did they estimate? How did they estimate it? How did they know? Like, did they have like a slider on the bus that says we have 800 pounds of shit on here? Full capacity? Maybe tank capacity? <laughs> Trilobite says they weighed the passengers when they were removed from the boat. <laughs> On August 8th, 2004, a tour bus belonging to the Dave Matthews Band dumped an estimated 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's Blackwater tank through the Kinsey Street Bridge in Chicago onto the passengers of sightseeing boat Chicago's Little Lady, sailing in the Chicago River below. Now go on. The rest of it isn't as funny. Um, as part of a legal settlement, the band agreed to pay $200,000 to environmental protection and other projects. Keys, thank you very much. Um, pay $200,000 to environmental protection and other projects. The band also donated $100,000 to two groups that protect the river and the surrounding area. The band's bus driver, Stefan Wall, pleaded guilty to dumping the waste. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Background. Dave Matthews Band had booked rooms at the Pennsylvania Peninsula Hotel, uh, of 108 East Superior Street for a two-night show at Alpine Valley Music Theater in East Troy, Wisconsin. The incident occurred between the first and second night of the concert. The band booked five buses for its show. Stephen Wool, Stephen Wool drove the bus of the band's violinist, Boyd Tinsley. There he is. <laughs> During warm months... <laughs> The Chicago Architecture Center offers a boat tour of the buildings in the Chicago River. The boats have open roof seating where passengers sit during the tour. Most Chicago bridges feature rivet grating, which is used for its strength and anti-slip properties. Riveted grating allows rain, snow, and other liquids to pass through, removing the need for complicated drainage systems to to salt the bridge of uh, to salt the bridge deck during snow and assuring it does not ice over in wintry weather <laughs> other liquids that's right incident hang on incident On Sunday, August 8, 2004, at 1.18 p.m., Wool was alone in Tinsley's bus and driving to a downtown hotel when he emptied the bus Blackwater tank as it crossed the metal grates on the Kinsey Street Bridge. Source, Dave Matthews driver. I dumped. CBS News, Associated Press. Passenger boat Chicago's Little Lady was hosting the 1 p.m. Chicago Architecture Foundation tour of the Chicago River. 
while passing under the bridge. The boat received the full contents of the tick. Great shot, sir. <laughs> Passenger Boat Chicago's Little Lady was hosting the 1 p.m. Chicago Architectural Foundation tour of the Chicago River. While passing under the ridge, the boat received the full contents of the tank on the seats of its open roof terrace. Roughly two-thirds of the 120 passengers aboard the boat were soaked. The boat <laughs> Yes, I need the McTavish filter. Fuck. Ugh. Roughly two-thirds of the 120 passengers aboard the boat were soaked. <laughs> The boat immediately returned to its dock, where all passengers were issued refunds. <laughs> Five passengers went to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where all passengers were issued refunds. No, I'm kidding. Uh, for testing. According to the Illinois Attorney General, passengers aboard... Oh, that's sad. There was a baby on board. <laughs> there was an infant... Immediately following the incident, Chicago Police Department said they were investigating the incident, but did not yet consider it a crime. Damn, we need better aftermath music. Uh... Aftermath. Immediately following the incident, the Chicago Police Department said they were investigating the incident, but did not yet consider it a crime. On August 9th, the Chicago Architecture Foundation released a statement that a witness had recorded the license plate information. recorded license plate information, which they had handed over to the police as evidence. On August 10th, bus driver Jerry Fitzpatrick, who drove for the band, was identified as the owner of the bus's license plate. In a phone interview, Fitzpatrick denied to a Chicago Tribune reporter that he had dumped the waste, asserting that he was parked in front of the band's hotel at the time. A publicist for the Dave Matthews Band issued a statement saying the band's management had determined that every one of its buses was parked at the time of the incident. Fitzpatrick, who was in Elfingham, Illinois at the time, instructed Sergeant Paul Gardner of the Effingham Police Department to inspect the bus's septic tank to prove that he could not have emptied it. Gardner reported the Chicago Tribune over Fitzpatrick's cell phone that he had inspected the tank and that it was nearly full. <laughs> yeah. Oh, either it wasn't him or these guys have been pissing and shitting all day. Uh, state prosecutors <laughs> worked. State prosecutors worked with a nearby fitness gym, the East Bank Club to identify the offending bus based on the gym security videotapes. On August 24th, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan filed a $70,000 lawsuit against Wohl, alleging that he was responsible for the dumping. Wohl denied the dump dumping the waste and was supported by the band. On August 25th, Mayor Richard M. Daly held a press conference 
in which he released the videotape he used as evidence. Daly expressed his belief that the dumping was absolutely unacceptable, but that he believed the Dave Matthews Band to be a very good band. In March 2005, Wool pleaded guilty to reckless conduct and discharging contaminants to cause water pollution. The Dave Matthews Band did not immediately apologize for previously supporting Wool. He was sentenced to 150 hours of community service, fined $10,000 to be paid to Friends of the Chicago River, an environmental organization, and received 18 months probation. The Dave Matthews Band donated $50,000 to the Chicago Park District, $50,000 to Friends of the Chicago River, and paid the state of Illinois $200,000 in settlement. The Dave Matthews Band agreed to keep a log. Oh yeah, they should keep the logs. The problem is they didn't keep the logs. Keep a log of when and where its buses emptied their septic tanks. It is believed that Wall did not recognize that there was a boat underneath the bridge when he dumped the waste. No passengers suffered any long-lasting physical health effects from having the waste dumped on them, so there's a happy ending. Couch Punk, thank you so much. <laughs> physical, yeah, you're right, Scanners. <laughs> Oh, God. like a ball. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. God, that's so good. That's so good. I'm glad everybody's okay. When they make a biopic about the driver, who will they cast? Uh, Connor O'Malley. Hey! Jeweler, thank you very much for those five gifted subs to Duncan, Salt Ranger, Kangaroo, Dirt McGirt, and not my chip, Monk. I thought they said not my chip. Um, yeah, absolutely. Connor O'Malley as the guy who, who uh, dumps all the shit out of the bus. <laughs> and then he, like, goes on the run. <laughs> <laughs> oh god god what a good thing i'm gonna i'm gonna we're, we're gonna end on that thanks everybody for hanging out tonight um we got a work stream tomorrow uh we're building a pc live on stream tomorrow with uh it's gonna be me and simone and uh our compatriot buddy Simit Sarkar as our expert uh, we're, we're building Simone a uh, an epic F1 gaming machine that's a sponsored stream um and then Friday I will be on Cicada's stream if she's feeling good to stream uh, on this channel that'll, that'll be on Polygon um um, let me see. There you go. So f follow Cicada. I I'll probably be on there streaming some Dark Tide this Friday after work. Um, I'm going to send you all over to you, Song. Uh, thank you, Jay, for hanging out and modding today. Um...
you're all diamonds.